Today, we're comparing two laptops, the ASUS ROG Zephyrus G16 to the ASUS ROG Zephyrus G16. The main difference between both of these laptops are the CPU choices. One is using the newly announced AMD Ryzen AI9HX370 CPU. I dare you to say that five times fast because the naming scheme of the CPU is terrible. The other one is the Intel Core Ultra 9 185H. Still terrible, but not as terrible. And the difference comes down to CPU choice. I will say my Intel version that I have here on the table is using an RTX 4080, whereas the AMD model is using an RTX 4070. The other difference is that you can only spec the AMD model up to an RTX 4070. So right off the bat, if you want a 4080 or a 4090 in the G16, you gotta go with Intel. Everything else, and I mean everything else, except for maybe one little thing, are identical. And the little thing is just the logo beside the Type-C port, you know? Like they both have the same HDMI ports, the power connector, the same power brick size, combo audio jack, just one is USB 4.0 and the other one is Thunderbolt, but they both have the exact same bandwidth of 40 gigabits per second. The lid, the color scheme, you can get this in this darker gray color or the white version, and they both have the slash on the back that can light up using mini LEDs. Look, I've been using the Intel one for a little while. It's a fantastic laptop, but it's gonna come down to efficiency. Like if you want better efficiency with your laptop, you might gravitate towards the AMD model, but it's not all a crystal clear picture because there's price involved as well. And we know with price comes tougher decisions. I will say though that under full load, the AMD model does perform faster than the Intel version, like single core clock speeds are definitely higher. Multi-core speeds are better, like really good. And the thing is that makes this so unique is that AMD is doing this while generally running about five to 10 watts lower than the Intel version. On top of all this, you're also just getting better thermals, at least for the most part, with the AMD version. Like average core clock speeds are around 50 degrees Celsius. Now this is kind of misleading because the way this new HX370 CPU runs is the first two cores get super hot, like 85 to 95 degrees Celsius. But as you go up that core chain, uh, the performance is still good, but the heat is lower. Like by the time you get to the 12th core, it's only running at like three degrees Celsius. And the crazy thing is like AMD is doing this without pushing all the cores. Like just imagine if it had like a crazy vapor chamber and they were to allow some of the other cores to boost up just as hot. I don't even know what the performance would be like, but it would just be on another level. Whereas the Intel version, all the cores are generally the same average core temperature. Photoshop, I'm giving it to the AMD model. It's a very CPU intensive app, like the GPU is important, but the CPU is much more important. So it just completely beat out this Intel model. However, when it comes to Adobe Premiere Pro, which is still CPU intensive, but also uses the GPU a lot more, the RTX 4080 does make a difference and the Intel version did perform better. In terms of compiling code in Mozilla Firefox, they were pretty much neck and neck. It was like a one minute difference between both of these laptops. And generally overall under full load, the average core clock speeds stay higher on the AMD model compared to the Intel version. Now, for those of you curious, the difference in terms of gaming, the RTX 4080 is obviously faster. You're looking anywhere from 10 to 20 frames more per second in terms of most of the games that I tested out. It doesn't matter if it's 1920 by 1200 or if you bump up the graphics to its native resolution of 2560 by 1600, an RTX 4080 is generally faster than an RTX 4070. Now, is this the true potential of an RTX 4080 in a laptop? No, I mean, it's in a thin chassis. It's only boosting up to like 115 watts, right? Whereas this RTX 4070 is kind of topping out at 105, but at least you can see the difference in terms of frames per second if you're considering one over the other. But look, even the internals are very identical. You still have the same storage options. You still have the same battery size. In fact, the battery life, at least on my PC modern office test, was technically better on the Intel version, but I feel like they just have better codecs for video rundown and obviously some of the office productivity apps that it was running. But I feel like in general, everyday use, I was finding the AMD version to be a lot more efficient. If you're worried about fan noise, both of these laptops can get quite loud under turbo mode, like it's supposed to, like you're talking about the high 50s. Obviously, if you put it on performance mode, it's gonna drop it down. And if you put it on silent mode, you're still gonna hear the fans, but it's gonna be a lot closer to 40 decibels. 
But here's the thing, money talks, right? Like at the end of the day, we're looking at prices. We're looking for sales. And as of right now, these HX 370 models are not on sale. Like this one I have here is $2299. It gets you 32 gigabytes of RAM and a lot of storage, but for 1600 bucks, you can get the same GPU. You'll take a little bit of a hit on RAM, but you're getting such a much better deal on the Intel model. Like if you're okay with an RTX 4070, the Intel one as of right now makes a lot more sense. If you want a 4080 or 4090, you have no choice but to go with Intel as of right now because there is no 4080 or 4090 option for the AMD version. But in a perfect world where prices are identical, obviously I'm choosing the AMD version nine times out of 10 because the CPU is more efficient, it runs cooler and you get better performance. So my suggestion to you is maybe not run out and buy the AMD version right away. Maybe wait for some sales to happen so that you can take advantage of the better CPU as long as you're okay with an RTX 4070. Now, if you have any questions, any at all, let me know in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to hit the like button. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. And as always, I will see you guys in the next one.